everyone, my name is Monica Nabilia and I'm from the Institute of Indonesia Chartered Accountants and today I will be presenting you with the three videos from the Philippine Institute of Certified Public Accountants or PICPA. The accountancy profession plays an important role in supporting the achievement of ASEAN's aspiration as an integrated regional economy. We are a key component in the ASEAN Member States' collective journey to establish the ASEAN Economic Community as one of the largest economies in the Asia and the world. Establishment of the ASEAN MRA on accountancy services as a platform to facilitate movement of professional accountants in the ASEAN region is an important milestone in creating an open ecosystem for the ASEAN accountancy profession to thrive. The ASEAN Federation of Accountants, or AFA, as an umbrella body for professional accountancy organization, or PAOs, of the ASEAN member states, play an important role in, among others, facilitating sharing and collaboration between the PAOs. Did you know that AFA Secretariat is based in Jakarta? To be precise, at Graha Akuntan, or the EAE Head Office. EAE and PICPA, as a co-founders of AFA, is pleased to collaborate and present you with the three videos that we will be watching today. Through this video, I hope you will get some valuable insight into life as an accounting student as well as a professional accountant in the Philippines. But before we go to the videos, let us first hear from the Executive Director of AFA, Alki Pratama. Good day everyone. My name is Alki Pratama, Executive Director of the ASEAN Federation of Accountants or AFA. On behalf of the Federation, please allow me to welcome you to the first edition of our collaboration with the Institute of Indonesia Chartered Accountants or II and the Philippine Institute of Certified Public Accountants or FICPA presented as part of the IEI Aspiring Professional Accountants Festival or APAFest 2020. In line with our strategies for 2020 to 2023, we believe in our role as the focal point for stakeholders in the region on all things accounting, as well as a facilitator for collaboration between AFA member organizations. Our session today is an example of how two professional accountancy organizations, in this case IEI and PICPA, are working together to bring the stories of accounting students and professional accountants in the Philippines to the world. As a strategic partner for the APA Fest 2020, AFA is pleased to present these videos to you as part of our commitment to encourage sharing between professional accountancy organizations or PAOs of the ASEAN member states. We certainly hope this will be the first of many to come. In fact, I am sure we'll be hearing more from us throughout this APA Fest 2020. Now, Enjoy the videos from wherever you are, whenever you want, on whatever platform of your choice. I wish you the best in your journey to become a professional accountant. Terima kasih. Arkon, Kap Jai, Selamat Po, Kap Krab, Jai Zudin Barde, Gam An. Thank you. Thank you, Aoki, for the remarks. It is certainly encouraging to hear that AFA is committed to provide ASEAN accountants, including the aspiring accountants, with access to various regional and international resources. Our first video, titled Our BSA Journey, presented by a group of students in the Philippines currently pursuing their accounting degrees. Enjoy the video! Being a student in an accountancy program 
can be really difficult. It demands so much of our time and effort. The truth is, this journey of ours challenges every speck of our willpower and demands the utmost level of sacrifice to succeed. We feel overwhelmed with the number of books and references we need to read. We get restless because of the many sleepless nights we go through just to prepare for assessments. We miss out on celebrations with family and friends because we have to review. We sometimes feel like we are not enough and we don't seem to fit in this course. We experience heartbreak because of our many failures in this journey. But the question is, why do we continue? We are reminded of our dreams, our goals, our future. We think of the people whom we are doing this for. Success does not come overnight. It requires hard work, determination, and perseverance. There are times when we fail, times when we do not feel like we are good enough. But our failures only mean that we can start all over again, rebuild ourselves, and do better. Whenever we feel like we are alone in this journey, we look around and see people who are there, cheering us on, rooting for our success. Along our BSA journey, we met friends who instantly became our family. And as we take on the same path towards a shared vision and goal, we face challenges together, help each other, and support each other's backs. The BSA journey may be tough, but together we can face these challenges head on and overcome them. Our hard work and sacrifices today will reap the harvest of our future. This is our story. The CPA journey will never be easy, but with all the blood, sweat, and tears that we shed, it will all be worth it. So don't give up. Every day you wake up, remind yourself that today is going to be great. You are going to be great and you can do this because one day you will just wake up and look back and see how much you have accomplished with that title at the end of your name, CPA. So don't lose hope over a failed quiz or a difficult accountancy topic that you do not understand yet. Just get up, clear your desk, tie your hair, and just get your day started with a big smile and a bright future ahead. There will be days when you feel like giving up and ask, is all this really worth it? Well, only you can answer that question. But whenever you get discouraged, it's good to remember why you are doing this and that there are people around you who are willing to help you out. Be that person for others too. The road to becoming a CPA doesn't have to be a lonely one. So, trust yourself and each other and believe that you will all be able to achieve your goals. Remember, smooth seas don't make good sailors. Kamu pasi bisa! The BSA program is a one-of-a-kind program which will instill in you great discipline and make you an outstanding professional in the workplace. Just work hard, keep praying, and keep the faith. And if it is God's will, I'm sure that He will allow you to succeed and graduate in this program. Kaya natin to! Everyone's definition of success will look different, but you do you. Don't be afraid to take your time and really understand the principles. After all, education is an investment, not a marathon. At the end of the day, those who understand the language of business will make the wisest decisions in life. And that is what makes the journey worthwhile. Himne! Continue working hard in this journey you have embarked upon. It may be difficult, but it goes without saying that nothing in life comes easy. This degree will allow you to reap the greatest benefits in the future. You just have to wait, because the best is yet to come. I believe in you, and I know you will finish this journey a better and stronger person. Tum kar sakte ho.
It turns out, life as a student everywhere might not be so different after all. The video tells not just their story, but also the story of your journey, the accounting students wherever you are. Highlighting some of the great advices shared in the video, education is an investment, not a marathon. At the end of the day, those who understand the language of business will make the wisest decision. And that's what makes the journey worthwhile. You will finish this journey as a better and a stronger person. You can do this! Next, we will hear from not one, but two professional accountants in the Philippines about their life as a professional accountant. Hello everyone, I'm Yusuf Maute. I'm a certified public accountant here in the Philippines. I'm also an ASEAN Chartered Professional Accountant. I'm part of the audit practice of one of the largest professional firms in the country, uh, which is PNA Grant Thornton or Grant Thornton Philippines. I'm currently a senior manager uh, who also works for the Technical Standards and Quality Control Group. I have been in the profession for almost nine years. I would describe my life as a professional accountant as both uh, challenging and fun. Challenging because in my work as an auditor, I need to be constantly knowledgeable of uh, resolving accounting and auditing issues uh, that we encounter while working with our clients. The current situation brought by the COVID-19 pandemic even makes our work more challenging. But despite this, I still find the work that I do as fun and interesting uh, because it gives me the exposure to a diverse range of industries and companies. Meaning, I'll always be learning about new business trends and meeting top leaders in almost every industry, all while working in a collaborative environment made up mostly of my peers who often become friends and colleagues for life. I guess one of the challenges I see that professional accountants face in this day and age uh, would be the automation uh, revolution which threatens to make obsolete uh, functions that used to be performed by accountants and auditors. But rather than being afraid to be replaced by robots, I think we face this challenge uh, by constantly enhancing our knowledge with the newest trends in business and upskilling ourselves. That is why I really think it's very important for us professional accountants, uh, now more than ever, to participate in continuing professional development programs. I'm lucky that here at my firm, our partners have been continuously investing in new technologies to ensure that we are future ready. Whether it's related to hardware, computer assisted body tools, or cybersecurity and data privacy programs. In our country, the Philippine Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the National Professional Accountancy Organization, is actually also very supportive to us. They provide support uh, to members with trainings and webinars to continuously cope with the challenges posed by new technologies. I wish all aspiring professional accountants and accounting students watching this uh, good luck on your studies. Uh, wherever you are in the world, we're excited for you to be part of the profession soon. In these uncertain times, especially amidst all the volatility, uh, I believe accounting professionals are very invaluable to our clients and our communities. Not just because we are number crunchers, but because we can deliver something else to our clients. We can help them navigate the unknown. An accountant's life is identified with debit and credit, journal entries, financial statements, reconciliations, tax compliances, among others. It is also characterized by hectic schedule, series of meetings, and even sleepless nights. Because there is no other way to doing the accounting work but through being very detailed and accurate. In the Philippines, there are four sectors for the CPAs. Public practice, commerce and industry, government, and the education sector. 
Accountants in public practice advocate the truth and they conduct themselves at all times with honesty, uprightness, and adherence to sound moral principles. They provide quality assurance to their clients. Accountants in commerce and industry continuously seek and apply new ideas to improve performance and to provide the business owners with quality outputs in the pursuit for better service to the public as a whole. Accountants in the government sector commit themselves to a strong, active, and devoted sense of duty to the society. They adhere strictly to the Code of Professional Conduct to ensure highest moral, spiritual, and ethical standards. In order to revere, lift, and honor public trusts. The accountants in the academe bind themselves to live and teach by examples in order to provide the future generations with leaders and individuals who will relive, improve, and innovate the legacy imprinted by a great nation. The Philippines is an archipelago, thereby making communication, transportation, and convergence of professionals a basic challenge. The accountants' thirst for constant updates are quenched through the different relevant trainings delivered in appropriate platforms by the various chapters across the country of the Philippine Institute of Certified Public Accountants, or PICPA, which is the accredited professional organization in the country, along with other sectoral organizations. They also aid in the so many processes and services provided to the members with the aim of providing professional development to each and every accountant across the country. To the aspiring accountants, keep the passion burning. Draw inspiration from the stories of hard work and determination from every successful CPA. Take your studies seriously. Remember that it is not just a test of intelligence, but more of like a test of discipline. Preparing to become a CPA will include a rigorous studying, but once you're done, you can look back with the satisfaction that you have conquered a once-in-a-lifetime challenge. So give it your all. Let nothing stand in your way. The profession that you are about to join is very lucrative. Myriads of opportunities, of work and for growth await you. So strive to reach for that goal. It is not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. I am a CPA. I am proud. I am a Filipino. Aspiring accountants, I certainly hope you enjoy the videos and can take an inspiration from the stories shared by our friends and colleagues in the Philippines. Please do not forget to tune into our APAFEST 2020 portal to get the latest update on the many events and activities that are still coming to your screen including the prestigious APAFES 2020 and FINBIS 2030 session on the November 10, 2020, where we will celebrate the International Accounting Day. On behalf of PICPA, AFA as a strategic partner of the APAFES 2020 and EAE, Please take care, stay safe, stay smart, and keep your spirit high. My name is Monica Nabilia. I see you in another APAFES 2020 webinar series. Bye-bye!